Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to test for the presence of carbonate ions. You should also be able to explain the benefit of using dilute nitric acid in the carbonate test. And if you're following the Edexcel spec, you should be able to describe how to test for hydrogen carbonate ions. Now chemical tests are an important part of A-level chemistry. These tests are sometimes referred to as qualitative analysis. A qualitative test only tells us whether a chemical is present. It does not tell us the amount. In this video, we're looking at the qualitative test for carbonate ions. I'm showing you here a sample of a compound, and we want to test whether this contains the carbonate ion. Now, the test for carbonate is based on the fact that carbonate ions react with acids to form the gas carbon dioxide. And I should point out that the test for hydrogen carbonate ions is the same as the test for carbonate ions. I'm showing you here the equation for the reaction between potassium carbonate and an acid. Now I've used dilute nitric acid. In fact, any acid would work in this reaction, but there's a good reason for using nitric acid, which I'll discuss later in this video. So if we add an acid to a carbonate, we will see effervescence, in other words, fizzing. This tells us that the reaction is producing a gas. However, in order to prove that a carbonate is present, we need to show that the gas produced is carbon dioxide. To do that, we now bubble the gas through lime water. Lime water is a solution of calcium hydroxide. Carbon dioxide reacts with calcium hydroxide to form calcium carbonate. And the calcium carbonate forms a white precipitate, turning the lime water cloudy, which I'm showing you here. So as you can see, if our compound reacts with an acid to produce carbon dioxide, we know that we have a carbonate. Okay, now I said before that the carbonate test can use any acid, but in this case I use dilute nitric acid. This is because we sometimes need to test a substance for the presence of several different ions, for example the sulfate ion or halide ions, and we'll be looking at the tests for these ions in later videos. Now the benefit of using nitric acid in the carbonate test is that we can then go on to test the same sample for both the sulfate ion and halide ions. If we used sulfuric acid instead, then we would not be able to test for sulfate ions, as sulfuric acid contains sulfate ions. And likewise, if we used hydrochloric acid, we would not be able to test for halide ions, since hydrochloric acid contains the chloride ion. So by using nitric acid for the carbonate test, we can go on to test the same sample for both sulfate ions and halide ions. In the next video, we look at how to test for the presence of the sulfate ion. 